Wizard101 has a 13 year old story, so it's about time we go back to the beginning and remember how far we've come. Welcome to the story so far. Grizzleheim is a side world ranging from level 20 to level 40. We are trying to stop the coven creating the Everwinter. We need to gain an audience with the king. To do this, we must first prove we are a true warrior. To do this, we head to Savastad Pass. We try to gain the trust of Bjorn Ironclaws' tribe. Bjorn is a mighty hero. We learn the ways of the bears and build a reputation for ourselves. We forge a mighty weapon and defeat Skalik and reclaim the fort. We then are tasked to help out in Vigrid Roughland. We meet Eagle Axebearer who needs help. His thane, Ivar Anderson, has turned against his people and let bloodthirsty barbarians into Anders Holt. It turns out the barbarian clan put an enchantment on Ivar. We get help from a Grendel cultist who helps us obtain the Eye of Truth. With the Eye, we head to Frostholm and confront Ivar. We can see through the enchantment and see who is truly behind Ivar thanks to the Eye of Truth. Behind the enchantment is a raven named Maud Runechanter. The question we are faced with now is where is Ivar? We head to Murkholm Keep after the wolves claim to have Ivar. We find out that the wolves were tricked by the ravens to start a war against the bears. We work to unite the two factions. We raid the wolf fortress and face off against Moonan Mistweaver. And he says the raven pitted the bears and the wolves against each other. We free Ivar and head back to the bear king. We are tasked to find and stop the raven's plot. We head to Ravenscar and seek trustworthy ravens. They learnt about an ancient scroll locked in the Tower of Lore, which is believed to be the coven's plan. We make a spirit totem and retrieve the scroll. After reading, we learn the coven are trying to obtain all three Grizzleheim runestones to allow them to control the magic in the world. This allows the coven to create the Everwinter, a perpetual winter locking the whole world in ice. We raid the Raven Fortress and defeat the leaders of the Coven, stopping the Everwinter for now. Wintertusk starts with us learning that the Ice Titan sleeps underneath the world. However, the Coven intend to wake the Ice Giant. We head to Hundle Fjord on the island of Wintertusk. We make our way into the town, only to find most of the inhabitants have been frozen. We gather the geyser water to unfreeze the Thane. He sends us to Grandmother Raven, a being older than the spiral and the one who gifted Bartleby his eyes. In a twist, we learn that Grandmother Raven is the narrator that we have heard throughout our adventures. She asks us to free her from the cage she's been put in by the coven. We gather some items to weave into the tapestry of life and free Grandmother Raven. We learn that Bartleby sung a song that put all three titans to sleep, putting an end to the titan wars. Each of the ice titan's sons have a special seal that we can use to keep the ice titan asleep. We first seek Ostri, we complete four challenges to test our worthiness. After completion of the challenges, we receive the first golden seal. We obtain the key to Vestraland and head to the next sun, Vestri. We help the people of Vestraland fixing up their camps and getting them food. In return, they help us meet Vestri. We defeat Vestri's assistant, who is a coven member, and receive the second seal. We obtain the key to Sudraland and seek out Sudri, the next sun. We make our way past Sudri's security and speak to him. He makes us barter for the seal. We get him golden apples, and in return he gives us his oath and seal. We head to Nordrilin to find Nordri. We answer a few riddles and collect a dragon's tooth and receive the final seal. We head to Nistrond to find the Ice Titan's throne room. We meet the coven in the throne room. They call forth the sons of the Ice Titan to stop us. Once we defeat the sons, we restore the enchantment on the Ice Titan with the seals, and his slumber continues. 